What's up, y'all? Gotta uh, do this pretty quick. Uh, pretty big mail day today. Uh, I got a bunch more packages. I got about five there. And this one here. I know what this one is. I guess I'll go ahead and knock this one out. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got a few of you guys on uh, the Facebook, YouTube collectors, um, whatever you want to call it, the page. Uh, who are interested in this. Um, I mean, again, I, I guess now that I've looked at it, um, it'd be about 150-ish eBay value. Um, I think that's that's a fair assessment. I mean, 130 on a bad day, maybe 160, 170 on a great day. You know, it's either way. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with right around 150 for this card. It's number four of 38. Again, you guys want to see it closer? Um, you know, two great, great autographs. They're both clean. Um, so. Yeah, um, definitely looking for the Black House Fighters there. Um, love to get a Junior Dos Santos or a uh, Jose Aldo. I don't have Anderson Silva. Um, I, I have a few of his, but I don't really have many. Most of his stuff are redemptions. So. Um, anyway, this, I got these because I thought they were awesome. This is a pair of uh, Leota Machida uh, fight shorts. Now, my fat ass is not fitting in these right now, but I got them in a smaller size so that I could maybe motivate myself to lose a little weight so I could fit my fat ass in here. But uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty well made, um, drawstring like that, and uh, you know, all the way around they got that, that band, uh, Venom is the brand, but uh, yeah, I think these look just awesome. I mean. You know, it's a really cool graphic right there. Uh, so these are the Leota Machida fight shorts. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to squeezing my fat ass in them at some point. But uh, onto the cards here. Uh, I'll just rip these open. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, I got a little ways to go before I can squeeze my big butt in that. I think they're medium, so like a size 33-34. Cool. I probably should have waited. This one probably should have been last, but uh, here we go. Jumbo Finest, the Red Relic from 2012 Finest of Jose Aldo. So that one hopefully will come for November. Everything else they have scheduled to be sent in November. That sucks. What do we got here? I gotta kind of hurry through all this because I've got school in a minute. Um, I'll probably throw this one on a one touch here shortly. This is a another tale to tape. My third one, Randy Couture and James Tony. The uh, freak show matchup, pretty cool. Um, I know some of the tape cards are, you know, I guess some people think they're cheesy. I think they're kind of cool. They're just unique. This is number four of 25. I mean, this was definitely a memorable fight uh, with all the trash that James Tony was talking about how, you know, mixed martial arts, you know, MMA fighters are a bunch of pussies and, you know, uh, you know, kicking is for girls. And then as soon as, you know, like, as soon as it's. 20 seconds into it, Couture goes for a double, takes him down, chokes him out. It's fucking awesome. So, I know, you know, Tony's obviously out of his prime when this happened, but, uh, you know, you can't just sit there and talk shit and then, you know, not back it up. I mean, I, I think that that particular fight was a step in the right direction for MMA, proving that they, you know, that mixed martial arts is legitimate. And it's, you know, it takes a lot more than just, you know, boxing. Um, you know, it, there are a couple of fighters right now that are considered one-dimensional or only have, you know, one skill. I mean, look at uh, Anderson Silva and, and Junior Dos Santos, two of my favorite fighters. They are world-class strikers, but they also have some of the best takedown defense. And, um... You know, so just the fact alone that you, you have, you're a world-class striker is not enough. 
you got to at least know how to defend a takedown and be able to, you know, work off your back and get back to your feet. So, obviously, Tony didn't know what to do. It reminded me of the old school UFC fights, you know, and Hoist Gracie just takes the guy down, doesn't know what the hell he's doing. 15, 20 seconds later, he's either arm barred or, you know, he's being choked out. So, anyway, uh, moving on here, three more to go. This is another cool one. Got a uh, Bloodlines refractor. I don't know if it's it's not numbered, but uh, we have a Ben Henderson, <clears throat> current and probably long time lightweight champion. I like him. I think his fights are a little. I mean, they're not always the most entertaining, but at least it's not a snooze fest like every Frankie Edgar fight. Dive bombing in, score a couple points, get back out, dive bomb in, do a takedown, don't commit to the takedown, you know, just scoring those points. I, I hate the way Frank Yeager fights. Um, I really don't like that, you know, trying to, to milk the, the points, points, points system, point scale, whatever. But uh, I do like the way Henderson fights, and I'd really like to see him fight Anthony Pettis again. Um, I think that's that's – Shortly, uh, uh, I guess it's coming down the pike. Let's see here. So I guess out of these so far, um, I guess I would be open for trades on um, the, uh, the tail of the tape. I've got one more that, um, the only one that I'm not trading out of those is the, the Dos Santos and um, uh, Roy Nelson. But I've got a... Florian and Gray Maynard tail of the tape as well, so I wouldn't be against uh, trading that. It's 21 or 25. I do like to collect them if I can get them for you know a decent price. It seems like most of them on eBay, they're you know buy it now for like two, three, four hundred dollars. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, there we go. These are kind of cool. I got a um, same seller just kind of picked up a couple of low end. This is a Junior Dos Santos and Shane Carwin dual uh, jersey or I guess they're trunks. Uh, looks like looks like Junior shorts and uh, Shane's uh, shirt from, uh, from their fight at 131, UFC 131. And then um, pick this up. It's a little off center but this is a, uh, a parallel. It's the uh, Alexander Gustafson. I guess you can call it a rookie. Um, it says Gustafson versus Diabati. If you see that at the bottom there, it says that. Normally, it just says Alexander Gustafson. So this is a parallel. Like I said, the centering kind of sucks. I guess it's probably about 60-40, maybe like it's not quite 70-30, but centering isn't great. But still, that's a nice, uh, nice pickup. I got one other of his somewhere here. Uh, well, anyway, I've got another Gustafson hanging out here. There we go. To go with, uh, so I've got this number to eight. This one here, one of eight, actually. So, we'll see. I mean, he's up and coming in the light heavyweight division. Last one here. Package inside of package. Then I got a jet. Got a jam, man. Got a jam. And oh, this is cool. Another bloodlines. First and probably only autograph I'll have of this guy. Brock Lesnar. I uh, I know it's not the uh, original bloodlines, but this is a pretty sharp looking card. Um, again, I guess this one's not numbered, but uh, pretty cool card. And, you know, it's the first and only Lesnar that I have. Not a huge fan of him, but uh, it's a it's a sharp card. And, you know, regardless of whether I'm a fan of his or not, he did, you know, bring that heavyweight division into a new era. Um, you know, for a while there, you were having matchups, Tim Sylvia, Randy Couture, and, and Big, Big Nog, and that was you know, Frank Mir. There were just a few big names in there, and now it's just, it's, you know, between... Um, 
you know, Overeem being a contender, uh, Cain Velasquez, um, uh, and I guess even Cormier coming over. I don't think Cormier's. I don't think any of these guys can handle Dos Santos, but you know, it's, the heavyweight division is just stacked now. It's kind of cool. But uh, anyway, so again, um, you know, you got to come pretty hard if you want to grab this away from me. I mean, I'm not like huge into trying to move it or anything. Uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a Yankees fan as well, so, but uh, I would definitely take, you know, some high-end UFC for it. That's it. I uh, guess I'll catch you guys later.